Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a preview of my time trial system and this is just going to be very simple if you wanted to make something for a racing game or a puzzle game where you have to complete it in a certain amount of time you can obviously um, just write this little bit of script obviously your time goes down, you can walk into a box and add 10 seconds and then you know walk into another and add another and you know you can do this on and on so first of all what we want to do, so what I've got in my scene is I've got a first person controller my normal test scene and obviously my per, uh, players tagged as player with the tag and what we need to do is I've just created two boxes with the you know a box collider with is trigger set to true so just ticked and you know I've just renamed them to game time uh, so we can collect them as we need to so first of all we're going to write the little controller script that's going to control the timer that we've got and what we're going to need to do so I'll name this script um, TT controller and what I'll do is open that up in mono develop and then what I'm going to do is start by writing a variable called timer set it as type float equal to 10.0 with a semicolon so that's going to be our initial timer. you can obviously set this to whatever you like so I'm going to have another variable called add time set that as type float equal to 10 seconds as well again you can change that up then I'm going to have a variable called gy show as type boolean and it's equal to false then we're going to write function update two brackets add two curly brackets below and say time minus minus equals time dot delta time and then if we say if timer is ever less than or equal to zero then timer will always equal to zero that's just in a, a case so that's all we've got for the update function you know that'll just count down the seconds of the timer up here so that'll just count down um, you know till it gets to zero and if it ever gets to zero it'll just set it to zero in the GUI now we need to do a little GUI to make this work now we're gonna say function on GUI open the brackets add two curly brackets below and say that gy dot box open brackets rect comma and um, open brackets ten comma ten comma fifty comma twenty close that up put a comma add two quotes say plus timer dot two string open the brackets adding quotes um a zero close the two brackets and add a semicolon now that's just going to show the timer as an actual whole number and then what we want to actually be able to do is show another GUI which is going to, to add the time like I did in my preview so we'll say that if GUI show is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets below and say GUI dot box open brackets rect open brackets then we'll say 65 10 50 20 close that up add a comma put in quotes plus then add a little space then add a, add a plus after that then say add time dot two string open open brackets add two um, brackets again and add a semicolon put zero in there like we did before and then what we're going to want to do is make sure that that GUI doesn't appear all the time because we might collect multiple items so what I'm going to do is start by um, referencing to a new function and it's going to be show GUI two brackets and a semicolon because I can't do yield within an update function so if I say function show GUI with two brackets and then two curly brackets below I can say yield wait for seconds and then in brackets I can put something like two and then we'll say GUI show 
is equal to false. So after that two seconds, it sets the boolean back to false again. So what we'll do is I will just add this to my first person controller to show you that it you know initially works. Time is 10, add time is 10. So you know you can see the time when it counts down, but obviously it won't show the other timer unless I obviously ticked this box. And if I tick that, you know you see that and it'll go off but we don't want to do that we want to make sure we collect something so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a script to collect an item so if I write a script called game time then I get rid of these two um, functions and I say start by writing private variable timer script as type TT controller for a time trial controller then I'll say function start we'll add two brackets two curly brackets below and say that timer script equals game object dot find open brackets first person controller close that all up say get component open brackets TT controller close that up and add a semicolon and below there we'll say function on trigger enter open that up call colon collider close that up add two curly brackets below then we want to say if call dot tag is equal to player then add two curly brackets in under there and say that timer script dot timer plus equals 10 then we'll also say timer script dot GUI show is equal to true and we'll say destroy open brackets lowercase game then uppercase object add a semicolon so all this does it references the script that we have in here so we can access the variables and then w once we enter the trigger with the player tagged it'll add 10 seconds to the timer which is shown in the GUI up here and then it will um, set GUI show to true, which means it'll show the GUI to add 10 seconds. And then it'll destroy the game object that we've just landed on. Now if I show you this, now if I go to my two boxes and I add game, ti game timer. Or game time, and then you can see it counting down. You can see that then I added 10 seconds to the score. And as I say, you know you can do GUI um GUI texture and add a texture to it and whatever you want and then you know you walk up to it again and you'll add that amount of seconds so that's a very simple way to make a time trial sort of thing where you have to collect time or add time for doing certain things doing objectives so thanks very much for watching and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers